hello viewers welcome back to my channel and in this video we're going to talk about integrating factor integrating factor is a function which we use to solve first order differential equations so every first order linear differential equation is represented in the form dy over dt plus p of t multiplying y is equal to g of t so every first order linear differential equation is in this form so to solve this we need what we call the integrating factor integrating factor is represented by mu of t and it's a function so in this video we are going to talk about how this integrating factor is being proved and how we can find the integration factor of different differential equations when the equations are given so first of all we have the assumption that when this integrating factor is multiplied by the coefficient of this y, when your first order differential equation is in the standard form as this, whenever you multiply the integrating factor by this coefficient p of t, we should get the derivative of the integrating factor. So from what I said, mu of t multiplied by p of t should be equal to mu prime of t that is the derivative of the integrating factor so from here we want to see how we get our integrating factor so p of t will be equal to mu prime of t over mu of t so from here i have divided through by mu of t so it will cancel here and i'll be left with this from this expression i can make a reference from the derivative of ln of a function so if you have the derivative let's say ln of u or prime you know that is equal to mu prime u prime over u so we can make that reference here so that whenever you find a derivative of ln of any function is equal to the derivative of that function over the function itself so from here we can say p of t is equal to ln of mu of t or prime that is the derivative of ln of mu of t that is what we are going to get mu prime of t over mu of t so from here you can see that to find mu of t we have to take integral on both sides so that we will eliminate the derivative here so integral of p of t is equal to integral of ln of mu of t or prime so at this point, you can see that integral of p of t is equal to ln of mu of t plus k. So from here, the integral sign nullifies the derivative sign here. So at this point, we want to find mu of t, so we bring k here. But the factor here is that we are not going to negate k when we bring it here. k is an unknown constant. So from here, we can still maintain a positive sign that will not affect the answer. So our ln of mu of t will be equal to integral of p of t plus k. At this point, ln is the same as log of any function to the base a. So we have e here, which we don't write. So from here, mu of t is equal to e to the power integral of p of t plus k so we still further simplify this and we get e to the power k multiplying e to the power integral of p of t from indices when you have the common basis we add the powers so since k is a constant and this whole thing is a constant we can replace all of them with k so mu of t will be equal to k multiplied by e to the power integral of p of t so this is the formula for the integrating factor but in the course of simplification the k will go away so we don't include it when of finding the integrating factor so our integrating factor mu of t finally becomes e to the power integral of p of t so whenever you are being given a function which is in the standard form dy over dt plus p of t multiplied by y equals g of t which is a first order linear differential equation then the integrating factor is always equal to e to the power integral of p of t 
where P of T is the coefficient of the Y when it has been expressed in this form. So now let's solve several examples and see how we find the integrating factor of different differential equations which are linear. So I have four examples here. So it said find the integrating factor of the following differential equation. The first one says dv over dt is equal to 9.8 minus 0 0.196v. Second one said t multiplied by y prime plus 2y is equal to t squared minus t plus 1. The third one is cos x multiplied by y prime plus sine x multiplied by y is equal to 2 cos cube x sine x minus 1. Then the last one is 2 multiplied by y prime minus y is equal to 4 sine 3t. So let's see how we find integrating factor of this differential equation. So let me divide my sheets. So let me write the first one here. dv over dt is equal to 9.8 minus 0 0.196v. So when you have this, you have to make sure that it is in the standard form. So dy over dt plus p of t y is equal to g of t. So meaning you have to bring this function here so that it will be in the standard form. So dv over dt is plus 0.196v is equal to 9.8. So right now it's in the standard form. So to find the integrating factor, mu of t, which is equal to e to the power integral of p of t. So it will be equal to e to the power in, so what will be our p of t that is the coefficient of the y but here we are using v so it will be 0 0.196 so we have integral of 0 0.196 dt and to find integrating factor we don't include constant of integration here so from here if you have the integral of 0 0.196 dt it's simply 0 0.196 t because there is a t here to the power 0 when you add 1 to the 0 we get 1 and you divide through by 1. So this is equal to 0.196t. And this is simply the integrating factor. We don't include the constant of integration, which is c. So this is the answer for the first one. Let's see the second one. So for the second part, we have t multiplied by y prime plus 2y is equal to t squared minus t plus 1. So from here, we have to make sure that it is in the standard form. Then we find the coefficient of y. So in the standard form, we can see that the dy over the t, or the derivative should always stand alone. That is, the coefficient should be 1. So when we come back, we have to make sure that the coefficient is 1. So we divide through by the coefficient of the y prime, that is t here. So we divide everything, t y prime plus 2y is equal to t squared minus t plus 1 over t over t over t then over t so here and here will cancel you get y prime plus 2 over t y is equal to t minus 1 plus 1 over t like this so right now you can see that it's in the standard form the coefficient of the y and the y prime are on one side so our integrating factor mu of t is simply e to the power integral of the coefficient of the y, which now is 2 on t. So I'll write 2 on t dt. So from here, I just solve this integral here. And what will that be? You have integral of 2 on t dt. 2 is a constant. You move it out of the integral sign. So this will be 2 integral of 1 on t dt so from here we have 2 multiplying if you have the integral of 1 on t the same as ln t so we have 2 multiplying ln of t then plus c but here we don't add the plus c so our mu of t is simply equal to e to the power 2 ln of t but from log, we know that if you have two ln of something, the two can come to the top here so that we get e to the power ln of t squared, like this. And here we can see that ln is to the base e, 
and you have a property of log that if you have e to the power log e t squared then the answer will be t squared here and here will go away it will turn to one so this is the same as t squared so our integrating factor is t squared let's quickly go to the third example and in the third example we have cos of x y prime plus sine x multiplying y is equal to 2 cos cube of x then sine multiplying sine x then minus 1 that is the third one so we have to find the integrating factor of this differential equation so how do you go about it you have to make sure that it's in the standard form as the coefficient of the y prime should be 1 so we divide through by cos x so dividing through by cos x you you realize that when you divide here by cos x you'll be left with y prime plus here sine x over cos x will give us tan x multiply by y and this is equal to 2 cos cube x multiplied by sine x. So when you divide 2 by cos x, the cos x will cancel one of the cos x here. So you'll be left with 2 cos squared x, then sine x, minus 1 over cos x. So this is simply y prime plus tan of x multiplied by y is equal to 2 cos squared x sine x minus 1 over cos x sec x like this so we quickly find the coefficient of y then we find the integrating factor so mu of t which is the integrating factor is equal to e to the power integral of p of t where p of t is the coefficient of the y so here is in the standard form so coefficient of y is tan x so this is equal to e to the power integral of tan of x dx so from here, tan x, when you find the integral of tan x, the same as ln of sec x. So we get e to the power ln of sec x. So e to the power ln of sec x. So here too, you can see that e to the power ln of anything is equal to the function itself because e to the power log of e, which is a property of logarithm. So our mu of t is simply sec x then let's tackle our last example which is the fourth one the fourth one we have 2y prime minus y is equal to 4 sine of 3t we divide through by the coefficient of y prime so that we get y prime minus y on 2 is equal to dividing here by 2 we get 2 sine 3t so let's make sure it's in a standard form then after the y should also be on the left side so since we have the differential equation in the standard form we just find the coefficient of the y which is one out of two here so our mean of t to the integrating factor is equal to e to the power integral of one out of two dt so always we integrate it with respect to the independent variable and here is t so you have to take note of that here was dx because we are dealing with the independent variable was x so from here you know that integral of one out of two t is the same as is the same as multiplying so here one out of two t is a constant so you get integral of one out of two dt let's solve it here we get one out of two integral of one dt which is same as 1 out of 2 multiplied by t. I said we don't introduce the constant of integration here. So our integration constant is simply e to the power. Here we had t on 2. t on 2. Here. So we don't introduce the constant of integration. So our integrating factor is simply e to the power t on 2. This is the end of my video. Thanks for watching. Kindly subscribe and share. And don't forget to also like. Thank you. So I'll be posting the similar videos. That is, this integrating factor. So I'll be posting how you solve for 
the first order differential equation, then the different ways we have the separable method and the other method. So kindly follow, subscribe so that you get notified when I post the next videos.